Hello and welcome to the first episode of Gupo Examines. Uh, this will be a brand new series where I'll be taking a look at some games and give them a review while examining what works and what didn't work out so much as well as giving in my first thoughts before examining this games. Uh, and without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and review our first game today and our first game is... Oh! We we we're reviewing um, Big Chungus. Why did I have to agree to this? Well, the game that we're reviewing today, I thought originally was just a joke, but apparently it's a real game. It's, uh, developed by... Oh. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Uh, it's developed by Hello Games, um... Uh, well, I know that thanks to some newer updates and on the previous game, No Man's Sky, uh, at least on Steam, the game now seems to be decent. Uh, so perhaps they might have learned the lesson and this could be actually a no decent game. Uh, there's the other issue that Big Chungus is an adults-only game. So I can't really show any gameplay uh, without breaking any of the YouTube guidelines. Uh, however, I will try to describe to the best of my abilities uh, what you do in this game, how it looks, and what is Big Chungus. Big Chungus is indeed an interesting game. Uh, it seemed to be taking place in an alternate universe in the year of 2006 where all people seem to do is play this game where you seem to try to deliver uh, a nuclear payload uh, to the other side of the field. Uh, you end up playing as either Big Chungus or Dante from the Devil May Cry series, uh, depending on the mission, but to be fair and honest, you're not really playing as that Dante. You're playing as Dante. I guess they couldn't get the rights to the rad pizza eating legendary demon hunter uh, Dante but close enough I guess right um, anyways you transport uh, your nuke alongside with your team where this game actually seems to be taking a strategic route um, you see uh, before each play or each movement uh, you have to choose a specific strategy. Uh, think about it like a giant uh, rock, paper, scissors game that you just play alongside with your team, I guess. Uh, where the point is either you're trying to stop the enemy team from launching their nuclear device by delivering it to from their side of the field to your side of the field, or you're delivering it. And as soon as you get reach the other side, uh, you get to launch the nuke, and if you launch it successfully, well, you also get, a, I guess, an additional point. Um, as soon as you launch the nuke, your team cheers while the other team is distraught at the launch of a nuclear device, as they know that at any time that nuke will touch down at Earth, and with it, will most likely demolish the hopes and dreams of many people. Uh, this game sure sounds simple enough, but there is a decent amount of depth into this game with what strategies you have to use, uh, to what uh, team uh, or teammates you have to choose for that current uh, game. The graphics have nothing really worth talking about. The uh, UI is really clean and simplistic, it gets the job done. And as far as the graphics go for Big Chungus, um, they're... 
how Kim seems to be using an old engine from the Xbox original era. So the graphics can seem a bit outdated, but uh, however, they do seem somehow better than No Man's Sky at times, I guess by limiting the scope and just focusing on the limitations of this old engine um, and just focusing on what it brings to the playing field it makes them have a more consistent presentation and also that sound design is actually really good uh, you really feel the impact uh, at each strike that you uh, give or take or even the audience cheering, it's very powerful, it's alive, it's, um, it, it makes you feel like you want to keep going. Uh, the game is also boasted uh, that it has about 52 missions, and those missions also have some boss fights, and these boss fights, will, generally speaking, will actually test your metal. They take part in the important sections of the game, like this special game, think of them like a super bed or uh, for a super vessel of some sorts, in which place you will take a uh, fight against another a stronger team, which honestly a lot of times it feels like they clearly outclass you, but if you have the right strategies and you approach it correctly, it should all honestly just make for an easy victory. However, there's a lot of downsides to this game. Literally, this game gets old very quickly. It suffers from the same problem that No Man's Skies has. That uh, after you play for a couple hours, you practically have seen everything that the game is going to throw at you. There isn't anything new or spectacular after that. Sure, they, they there will be difficult challenges, but after a while they will honestly feel dull there isn't too many achievements either actually there isn't any um outside of just completing those big events uh which you have to access through your apartment uh yes you do live in a stingy apartment that has a calendar but that's about it um uh, however the gameplay it's solid enough it's balanced and it has a Deep enough strategy uh, that it makes it interesting to look at. There also seems to be about 200 or something secrets hidden in the game, but to be fair, they're just things that you normally get through a normal playthrough, so they're really not a secret. Furthermore, uh, even though you get to select different teammates and different teams, and each team has their own color, the stats, and everything. Honestly, doesn't feel that those stats make a huge enough difference. I don't know. I they really don't feel like doing anything. It feels more like uh, the strategies that you bring out and make a bigger impact than those stats. Big chunk is honestly an interesting game. A simple yet complex game. However, due to its repetitive nature. The game gets boring relatively fast. The story tries to be deep and compelling with the whole nuclear dystopian future that it has in the background, but it does become quite a chore really quickly because of its repetitive nature. The game may not be for everyone, but it does clearly seem to be a step in the right direction for Hello Games, so sub games that they can deliver in the future. All I can say is, honestly, if you find the game in a store, go give it a shot. But honestly, I don't think it's a game that it's worth hunting down on your free time. Just go ahead and give it a shot. That's I, honestly all I can say about this thing. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. I want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my friend Tab. She was the one that drew this beautiful dragon here for our new segments here. Um, go ahead and give her a follow. I'm gonna go ahead and put down below a little link so you can follow her on Twitter. Uh, you can also, if you like what you saw, you can either go ahead and give me a follow here over on YouTube or follow me directly on Twitter, where I'll be posting any new art or projects that I'm gonna be working on the side or 
maybe when is the next stream coming up or you can just go ahead and follow me directly over our twitch where i'll be doing either drawings live or i'll be playing video games with my friends and most of the time those video games can get pretty bad so bad you know there's still a mystery that i quite haven't been able to solve there is another subtitle for this game and i still don't get what it means the fine fuck is a man in 06.